So in this video, as I open OpenBridge Modeler, I will create a new file that will contain my geometry. So it's going to be a new 3D file in metric units. In this case, I'm going to make it into a previously created directory that I have. And I'm going to call it Bridge Geometry. So the file will be open. being this uh, new file so now I'm going to call as a reference file the file that was given to us that contain that uh, geometry so attach and uh, this is the file that was given to us uh, it will be a DWG file and just open it. Then I select the model here, accept it. So then I will have the file. So if I do a uh, fit view, I uh, will see what I was given. And this is the graphical reference of the alignment with all its full geometry. So to eliminate the clutter and just leave me with the alignment itself, I uh, will just um, start turning off levels. So right click off by element. So I don't want to see the, the curves. I don't want to see the major curves. I just want to stay with the alignment information. So let's see where are the PIs here. So this is the one PI here and that is the information. So maybe I will stay with these levels, the CBL and not. So let's try to do that and invert the, the selection. All except element. So I stay with this and then remember the line was on the auxiliary level that I need to find. So right here and that center is the one coming the, the pi right so i have basically the alignment now completely isolated and i need to remember the graphical part here so what is the radius of the curve that i'm going to use and the uh, spirals of approximation here so let, let's do this and uh, now this is auxiliary and this is also auxiliary so i can well i will try to use it the same configuration and see what I got. So let's start now. The maybe the easiest way, since I have all the PIs here, it will be to use the complex geometry, but by PI. Right. So let's do this and set up. For example, the first information here is that the radius to start is 95, 4.93 and the approximation spirals it's 24 and 24 right and then the feature definition i will go straight and look uh, into the workspace and search for the feature definition that is going to be an alignment and it's going to be geometry center line and and i'm going to call it geometry bl right so let's start. So I will just snap to the first point. And here it comes the second PI right here. Right? And the second PI is already half. You see the, uh, the spiral that is doing. And also the radius of the curve. And then I will go to the next PI here, right? But the radius here now is, is different. Oh, no, it's the same radius, 95, 4.93. And the expires are also 24 and 24, so that make it easier, right? And then the other PI is 
right here. But on that PI, the curve is a little sharper here. So the curve is, according to the text there, 197, right? And using my arrow keys, I can go with a spiral that is different, 33, uh, 33, and the radius is 38, 197, 33, enter, sorry. Uh, 33 enter and then the radius was 38 197 enter so that is the new configuration but then I have to go and find the next PI I am using the wheel uh, of the mouse so right here and then that four curve is different too because it's going for a radius of 63.662 uh, with a spiral of 29 on the back and, and a spiral on the length of 29. Right, and then it's finishing in the last PI right here. And then um, that's it. I have all the geometry now fully stored using the information that I need. Right? So now I have to make it into an alignment. So now this auxiliary level that it was used, I will turn it off so software doesn't pick it up for me. So go here and our auxiliary level is off. So now I have only seen the full geometry created by OpenBridge Modeler. So now I'm going to go civil again and I will say complex geometry, complex by element, right? And then say that this is the geometry that I need. And actually, the alignment is going this way. So I will start from here, locate first element, and it's all complex, it's going that direction, accept it, and now I have full geometry. Now, it didn't accept the feature definition, so I can fix that very quick because I can say set feature definition and the alignment is going to be a geometry baseline that I'm going to call it geometry BL. And now the new feature is set now. So now I have full geometry set up. If I need to annotate it, I can do that too because now I can go back to analysis and reporting, right? Uh, and say full size. No, I'm going to maybe do it at 400 scale and say element annotation. Reset to complete, and the element is annotated. But this is starting at zero plus zero zero, and that's I don't want that because the alignment I was given starts actually at six plus three twenty. So let's change that. So for that, what I'm going to do is change the stationing. So I will go one more time to civil, modify and say, start the station. Start the station, as I said, that was given, was six plus 320. And I said the starting point, it will be here, right? And the station starts actually right here at the beginning. Accept it, one more left click. And now my new annotation is set and then I have the full annotation of the new alignment now in OpenBridge Designer.